how you can drag multiple file and drop here like I'm doing it here and you can upload to the server with a resumable option and you can remove whatever you want. We will discuss all about this but after the intro. Hi everyone, this is Subrat and you are watching Fun of Heuristics. So on this channel, you will get to know about the programming languages, the framework and all about the algorithms. So please consider subscribing and hit that bell icon if you haven't yet. One of my video is about how you can upload a file to the server with a resumable option. So in that, one of the viewer just commented how we can upload multiple file with resumable and remove option. So I thought it's a good topic, it's a good use case, so it's better to make a video on it. To accomplish all this, you don't need to change that much in backend. There is very little, only one line in the return. Now you will get to know uh, when we go to the code and this is the complete front end changes. So we are using the asynchronous property of HTTP call or you can say JavaScript. So we are making multiple call in a loop so that it, it will run asynchronously and we can upload multiple file like you can see here. I just upload, uh, I did three file and I removed one when I hit upload, simultaneously it got uploaded. When, if I go to the uh, server, you can, you can see that two file has been uploaded here. And by the way, if you haven't watched the uh, video which is how to upload a file with a resumable option using HTTP POST method then this video will be a little confusing for you. So I will suggest please go to the video and watch I will link the video there then come back to the video and continue from here okay. As you may have remember from the uh, previous video on that video is that first we are making a status call to get the how much data is there in the server. So here we are using the status call in a different way. As you saw a little before, I uploaded two files. So now I will drag the same file again. Now you can see here we got 100% and 100% uh, uploaded here. And when we will upload the file again, you will see only this date filter or JPG will be get uploaded. So what I'm doing here, I'm only sending those files which is not uploaded. If you are interested in the backend, so I will don't waste your time. So if you remember in the previous video, what we did is if the file is present, we are only sending the status as file is present as uh, we, are, we are making the status and the upload call at the same time. So now as it's got changed, what I have done here is with the status, I am uh, sending the uploaded as well. Now we'll go to the front end. First of all, we'll go to the HTML. So here for this drag and drop, HTML5 has a inbuilt property. You, you don't need to use any external library or something. It's just a simple HTML, okay? So you can see here, I have created a div with ID as a drop zone. And it has two event one is drop one is drag over drag over means when i dragged over to here okay so when i uh, did like this i will show you again so this is drag over so now i'm dragging okay now when you leave the mouse that is drop on the drag over i'm calling drag over handler here we are doing prevent default and stop propagations okay so this is the events method so what it will prevent i'll show you here so if you go to this one, so if I suppose I check this file instead of dragging here, I, I just dropped here. So this is the, so this is prevented. So if, if you don't do this prevent default, what the browser will do, browser will open that file. So if you come to the drop handler, here we are again preventing the default, that means preventing the file opening. And here we are just doing our stuff like catching the uh, file, what whatever came in the drag and we are checking if that is a item and in that item we are iterating and that we are checking if that is a file type type is file the kind is file and we are fetching that file and here our logic starts okay so what i'm doing here i'm creating an object which contain all the information what we need what do we need we need the file name we need the that file whatever came that file file id as you already know from the previous video file id 
if for a unique identifier and that we are making from file name and when the file is created and upload completed to false okay so when it uploaded we'll make it as a true and i am pushing that file to a array so that uh, i can iterate it here okay that's that's the simple simple thing and from here what we are doing is we are asking for the file status you already know from the previous video that before uploading to a file to the server we need the status so that status means that how much file is already uploaded in the server so that we can send the rest file to upload so here i am making the same but i am calling that in a loop and if you go to this method you can notice that we are making a http get call for the status which is asynchronous that means two three simultaneous call can be happened these are not parallel call but it seemed to be as this these are the asynchronous okay i'm setting the header as a size x file x file id and the name as i have already explained all of all about this in that video so i will just skip this one in in this video so here i'm just making a status call and from that getting how much this file is uploaded and i'm setting that percentage or that uploaded by the status everything to the object we passed here suppose in selected file has three files like uh, like we did it here okay so i will just uh, show you the example again so when i dragged up you saw it became 100 percent because the file is already present there now what happened here this ran three times and it pushed the object and we are passing the same object in the for each loop and we are updating the uploaded byte and uploaded percentage of the same object so it's got reflected in our ui uh, so and you, you want to remove you will just remove that object from that list or the from that array and here i'm checking if file upload percentage greater than or equal to 100 it will be 100 it will not be greater than or equal to 100 but for a safer side i have used that one and we are making this upload completed too i haven't used but you can use this one as well till here you got this one okay how much is status the file now uh, i will go and drag drag and drop once one again so here you can see these three are there but one we are getting status as a zero if you can go here we have three file we haven't have that file there and now the time is for the upload so, and the upload is simple you already have the status so now we have to check which files aren't fully uploaded that means the percentage is not 100 or the upload completed uh, is not true okay so here uh, on click of upload button okay i am calling upload file in that i am again iterating through the selected file which is the list and from that i'm checking if file upload percent is less than 100 or you can check the upload completed is true or false and according to that so i'm checking is if it is less than 100 then i'm calling the resume upload and i'm passing the same file which has all the information so, okay and inside resume upload we are setting the header and here we are creating a http request and that method is post or passing the passing the upload url and the file that we got the uploaded byte this uploaded byte we get from here okay that is how much file is uploaded this all i already explained in that video i'm saying that again suppose the uploaded byte is the how much your file suppose you're uploading a 1 gb file so how much your file is there is already uploaded that much that much byte you will get and that byte from that byte to the size of your file we are slicing okay so this is the selected file the slice and we are slicing the file from the from the size we have in the server and the total size we have in our local and we are giving report process to true so that we'll get in continuous feedback from the server that how much is uploaded now here making a http request call and we are passing that request and on successful response what we are doing is we are checking if that is a type of upload process then we are setting the upload percentage to the percentage of file is uploaded that means how much bytes you have 
plus how much data you getting response suppose we are sending suppose 1 gb is already uploaded you are you, you are sending rest 1 gb so the file is 2 gb so you will you will get the response as the rest 1 gb so here this res dot loaded and res dot total will be according to the 1 gb you are sending okay so what you have to do you have to add the upload byte with the upload loaded this thing i have did wrong in the previous video so i will in the in the code i will correct and post the code so this is what the uploaded byte we already uploaded and the how much is get loading so that you will get a accurate percentage how much is there in the server and here we have a, a delete option also that is uh, for remove and on click of that what we are doing is we are calling a delete file and we are passing the file file means the we are iterating through a ng4 here so we are passing that object of that list and and from that object we are just splicing that of index of that object so it, it it will be get removed from the selection okay this is that this is simple so now i will again demonstrate you with a larger file this is the previous video and it has, it has 28 gb this is a non-compression one so what i will do i will drag the file here and i will hit upload you can see that the previous one is got uploaded as that is a small uh, mb file but this is keep on uploading okay you can see we are getting the percentage i will just little zoom here we are getting the percentage here and is as this is a 28 gb file now i will refresh the page again so i will drag and drop the same file here again so you can see here we got the status on on the drop on drop we are calling the uh, get file upload status in that we are making a status call and we are fetching the details uh, how much is uploaded there you can also check that in the in the back end so if i go to the back end and I, if i revel in finder you can also check that this is uh, only uh, 3.2 gb is uploaded and the file size it's around 28 gb so this is 28 gb and i'm looking very odd here okay so this is not a good position i will, I will remove i'll remove this one now when you when you hit upload you you may have re, remember that we already uploaded about some 12 or 13 percent now again it's got started from the 13 if you if, if you can check an eye on here it's and it's keep on increasing and increasing so this shows and you can also upload multiple files like same like i showed you in the previous example okay so i will just refresh this here now we will go to the back end means the server and we'll check how much is uploaded okay so if you go to the uh, revel in finder again you may have remember that in the previous in the in the first upload we have only we only uploaded three around 3 gb now it is 7.61 gb so it is increasing and you are getting the correct percentage there so that's it for today guys today we saw how you can upload multiple file with remove option so that it will be helpful to you and you can resume that anytime you want and how you can do all these things so this will be pretty helpful if you want to upload um, a many data as many data as you want and th this can be big small doesn't matter this will going to work in the in the server in a in any scenario okay if you're liking this video and if you think what i'm doing is good then please hit the like button and if you are liking my work and you want to support me you can support me on the patreon i will give the link in the description below and subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon so that you will be notified when i will put a video and share this video amongst your friends family colleague to everybody and please give some valuable comment suggestion what you want to see in the future in the comment section below we will going to meet in the next video Till that, stay happy. Bye-bye.